Hi, this is Tracy at GenesisBlogging.com. Today I want to talk to you about PeopleBrowser.com. It is a new Twitter application that I've been using that's actually browser-based, and um, it actually allows you to connect with several of your social media applications all from within this one browser application. It is absolutely fabulous. You're going to love it. Um, I'm not going to touch on everything today because it is it would make the video hours long, I, I assure you. Uh, to log in, you click on the big T and you enter in your Twitter ID information and you click log in. And you'll notice that once you log in, you have these um, stacks, what they call stacks in um, People Browser that are like columns in TweetDeck. And I have set down here is where you adjust how many stacks that you have visible. And I, if you slide this over to the left, you would have more stacks available. In the further over to the right, you have less stacks available. What that basically means is that the further to the right you go, you have more stacks. You have less stacks, but the stacks are wider. So I wanted less stacks on my on my windows so my I had a little more room I can see it a little bit easier I didn't want these little bit tiny narrow stacks that's just me um, up here um, across the top is all of the stacks that I could I can have um, by default I have the following all the people that I'm following and then I have here my replies that are directly to me but I can also have a stack for everyone on Twitter which is pretty cool and then I could have one, of course, for the following, but I could have one of all of my followers, of all the people that I'm following. I could have a stack of just them. And then of sent and favorites and, and of course, the replies, which I have up here in my direct messages and, and different things. But um, you can have various reports. And anytime you click these, it's going to open it up in a new stack. Okay. And then you can have groups. Um, and, you know, by popular hashtag or, or you know, ha different hashtag groups. For example, um, I can click um, to open a, a stack for that Facebook group, and you'll notice that it kicked over here. And while that's loading, it's going you know, to go over to the right. It's not going to change and squish down my little boxes. I'm going to scroll right to get to that group. Um, but here, if you, you'll notice if you click this, this is all of the social networks that you can access via people browser which is very very nice and every time that you click one of these it changes your options so for example um, like when I click photo bucket for example I can click this and it will open up a stack um, and show you my photos um, that are loading over there um, see and it's going to load up my photos and see here's all the um, you know all the tweets that are tagged for, you know, the Facebook group or whatever, um, and it'll load those up, and there, there's my photos from, from my photo bucket, and there's my new little grandson, so, um, you know, it just loads a new stack for those every time, you know, you, s you click something up at the top, it just simply loads it into a new stack, that's all it does. Now, to tweet, to open up the area to tweet, you would click this little green thing up here, and then it's going to open up um, a section at the top. Now, consequently, if you click the search, it will also open up this same area because it's all on the same level. Um, and this is where you would post or type your tweet, and you can type the at or the dir or direct message, and it has an autocomplete feature, and then you can enter a URL into this line also for shortening. Um, and this is where you can also select to send your tweet to um, Facebook as a Facebook status, to FriendFeed, to uh, Identica, or also to Ping FM. You could choose to send it to just Twitter or and or to any of these. And also as an option, you can choose to send your tweet, save it as a draft, or send it in an X number of minutes as a delay, like schedule it to send it ahead. Um, in uh, people browser it's the same as in TweetDeck where you would you know mouse over to reply to um, retweet to direct message and if you click this you have expanded options and um, you know you have all these out like the favorite and of course 
direct message, you can email it, you can make this person a VIP, which would allow you to put them in a special group, which allows you to put them in a group, you can unfollow them, um, you can comment, um, you can add tags, but one of the things that I wanted to show you was this feature right here. This is to expand the thread. This is to follow a conversation in People Browser. When you expand that, you are following back the conversation within this particular thread. Very, very, very cool feature. Love that. Absolutely love that. Um, of course, there's also, you know, the to-do and th lots and lots to do. But what I wanted to show you is here's your settings. Obviously, click that. Um, this is where you adjust your API. If you're maxing out on your API, increase this minutes right here. Increase it. Make it like six or seven minutes, and that will increase the intervals between your auto refreshes. So increase it if you're running out of API. Okay. Um, on view, this is where you can increase your font size. Look at this. See? Just made it bigger. Love, love, love that. This is where you can change the theme. You can adjust the colors if you want to. But then you can click it. They have Classic. Then they have Outlook. Love, love, love that. They have the Facebook theme. Like that too. Then they have a pink theme. And if you don't like it as it is, you can come in here and adjust the colors and make it your own and click Update. Okay? So you can, you can do that too, and um, once you select those at the top, it automatically selects it. If you customize it, then you click the update. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But say I want these column headers to be different. You can actually customize the column headers too. So say I wanted this one to be a little bit more of a, I don't know, darker blue or something, or gold or, you know, whatever. You can adjust that color to be whatever you want and then set that and then close the X and then you've adjusted the you know the that header color. So this is where you um, you know can adjust it. I suggest you do. I suggest you go down there and you would you know um, set that up and you know make sure that you have all your settings exactly the way that you want it to be. That's where you need it to be. Um, and this is where you, down here in accounts, is where you add all your information for all of your accounts. Okay? And um, so this is, you know, where you would, um, you know, adjust if you need to change your um, a username or a password or something like that. This is where you would do that, would be right here in um, under the accounts feature. So down here at the bottom, that's where you would do that, right down here. So, and you also have a one stack option. So, there is a lot to People Browser. This is a very quick synopsis to get you going, get you started. Go up here to peoplebrowser.com, no E, just SR there at the end, and check it out. Let me know what you think. I'll have more videos coming soon to show you all of the uh, features that are found within People Browser. Just love it. Anyway, we'll speak soon.